That blurry, glowing white thing is Jahar Sarnayev, the Boston bomber. What you're seeing is thermal video captured by the Massachusetts State Police. We heard a call that came in that said uh, a man came outside to have a cigarette, found some blood on his uh, boat, looked in, he thought he saw a person. I have a, a boat in my yard. There's blood all over the inside. There's a person in the boat. The boat was covered in a tarp and Tsarnaev was potentially armed, so no one could get close. The police used a $700,000 infrared camera mounted on their chopper to confirm his location. Two of the officers who helped locate him took me up in the air to show just how they did it. When we arrived on scene, it was one orbit, and we actually saw an image of a, of a human being in that boat. And the human being was, in fact, alive, and he was moving. Once they saw he was there, they were able to safely capture him. The specialty cameras, made by a company called FLIR, were instrumental in the operation. Everything that's in the universe radiates some form of heat, and that radiates in a form of a wavelength of light that's different than the visible spectrum. What our cameras do is that they have a special detector on them, and we sense those infrared wavelengths on the detector itself and turn that electronic signal into a television image. That's Andy Teach, FLIR CEO. He's worked his way through the company's ranks for the past 17 years. When the Mass State Police were able to fly over that area with our thermal camera, not only was it at night, so it would have been difficult to see, but the thermal camera actually has the capability of being able to see through that tarp. It feels like the stuff of spy novels, and it's one of the military's favorite tools, but FLIR has also brought the tech to your smartphone. What on earth does the average person need thermal imaging for at home? Well, there are a couple of applications. One of the leading ones is looking for problems in the home. You know, a very common one is moisture, water leaks, plumbing, uh, overheating electrical circuits. There are a lot of people who have privacy concerns about military and law enforcement using your technology. So what do you say to those people who have concerns? Well, you know, the technology is used for life-saving purposes. I mean, the majority of work that is done with these cameras is, you know, finding people that are, are lost, uh, you know, finding people that are in danger. This brings a, a superpower to law enforcement with the ability to be able to see what's going on under all light and weather conditions. Teach also says the cameras can't see through glass or multiple layers of a wall, so they aren't able to see in to people's homes. And the police say for them, it's an invaluable tool. We're not here to invade anyone's privacy. Uh, we're here to, to help people. Do you think it would have taken a lot longer had you not had that technology that day? Oh, we probably wouldn't have been able to confirm that there was somebody in that boat.